What is going on everybody? It is your boy Nothing But Skills and today I'm going to be showing you guys another secret loot room. It seems that you guys are enjoying these secret loot rooms exploring, especially when you get a little bit bored of PvE and PvP. Now this secret area is a contamination zone that is just south of the Federal Triangle and just north of the Castle Settlement. There is a mission to the west of it that you can fast travel to and run directly east and you'll land right at this contamination zone. Now this contamination zone has three collectibles, it also has some gear loot boxes, plus it has some stuff that you need to unlock. So to get into this contamination zone, you'll notice that there's a closed off area that you can climb up to the left of it and then you just jump straight down. And that's probably the area that you guys had the most trouble getting into. Now once you get into here, you will notice there is the first collectible of three that you can pick up. It, it's a cell phone, so you can listen to this transmission if you want. Now there's going to be a door right in front of you. You need to shoot the lock, open the door. Now once you come inside the doors, that is where you guys are going to find the first key that's going to get us into the next location. So just grab the key and then the first door that we need to go to is going to be just around the corner. So we're just going to take a loop all the way around and once we get to the door we'll be able to access that door because we have the key already. So the door we want to access is right here and you just have to interact with the panel and now we have access to the next area where we can continue on with unlocking the secret room. Now once we get to the next area this is where we're going to come to the exhibits and we're going to see a lot of animals on display but in front of these displays are these panels and you can interact with each one of these panels. There's going to be I believe five of them and the first one that you need to activate is right in front of me. I'm actually going to skip this one. But we need to work our way all the way down and then we'll see all the other panels that we have to activate. So I'll show you each one of them to make sure you guys can get all of them. And when you activate all of the panels, that's going to give you the access key to the secret loot room. So we're going to come down the stairs right here and to the left is going to be our second of three collectibles that you can get. There's also going to be a loot box to the left of it. Before we activate the panels to get into the secret loot room, there is one lady you guys want to speak to because this is part of another secret mission that you'll complete later on. But you're going to hand her your BSAV samples. So directly to the left of where you guys collected that secret loot, there's a room called Museum Storage. It says staff only. You're going to open this door and she's going to be sitting in the back. And then all you have to do is interact with her, give one BSAV samples. So once you give her the BSAV samples, you can leave the room and the first panel we're going to activate is right here. It's right in front of that room. So just activate the panel. As soon as you activate the panel, the lights will turn on and then that's how you know you completed that portion. So we just have to continue on and activate the remaining panels to get the key to get into the secret loot room. The next panel is directly right outside. So we're going to activate this one. The lights come on and then there's going to be a few more down here. Work your way around and then the next panel is going to be right in front of it. We're going to turn this one on right here and then we just have three more. We have two down here and then we have to go back upstairs because I didn't activate that initially. So if you guys activate that one off the bat, you'll be good to go. So here's another one and then we just have two more. We have the one to the left of me and then the one upstairs. So I came back upstairs and then this is the panel that I initially never activated. So once I activate it, it turns on and then we just have to go back downstairs and the final one is going to be right next to the stairs. You just have to activate this panel. As soon as you activate the final panel, there will be a key that drops right in front of you and this will give you access to the secret loot room. Now once we go pick up this key, we're going to go grab the third collectible which is going to be directly to the left. So once you go to the left, you're going to see a rope, go down the rope and then of course that is where the third collectible will be. So now that we have all the collectibles, let's go to that secret loot room. So we're going to go back up the rope and it's going to be just outside of this first display to the left. And the door we need to go to is right in front of us. So we're going to open up this door and then the next door is the one that we're going to be able to get into because now that we have that access key, this is a secret loot room right here. 
Now once you're inside, the loot box is gonna be directly in front of you. There's nothing really to the left, there's nothing really to the right, nothing too crazy. What you want is gonna be directly in front of you. And remember, this is all RNG, so what you get will be totally random. And this is what I got right here. I got this PX4 Storm, and then I also got a Russian Doll Protocol Mod. Now remember, you can come back to this loot box every 24 hours and there will be a chance of dropping something else. And once you have it already unlocked, you can just randomly just run in here if you're in the area, pick it up, and then leave. It's just another area that you can get a weapon box. I think these areas are pretty cool. Um, I love how Ubisoft added these secret loot rooms in almost every area on the map. And you just have to find them. You have to look at different ways to unlock them. And this is just one of many. And my goal is as I keep unlocking these, I'll keep bringing you guys different videos and hopefully you guys enjoy those videos. Smash the thumbs up if you found this video useful. If you have any questions on this video, use the comment section down below. Don't forget, if you're new to my channel, first time watching any of my videos, hit that subscribe button, turn notification bell on so when I release a video, you guys get notified. As always, if you don't see me in conflict, if you don't see me in the dark zone, it's only a matter of time. Nothing but skills out. Video.